So this is me being vegan for a week. Basically what the video is. Me and a coworker are going to be going vegan for a week, seeing what happens. I did record another intro to the video before I did it and it's deleted and so is the first day of filming. I don't know what happened, don't know where it went. But um, yeah, so basically I've experienced with like being vegetarian, being almost vegan, but this is just kind of like me pushing myself and stocking up on vegan food and making sure to only order vegan and everything and just going for it and seeing how I feel. So I don't think there's any more to say. So I'm gonna put in all the clips of me being vegan for the week and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to talk about how I felt for the week, what I thought, how it went, all that stuff. I'm in bed now, I have my cup of tea and I forgot to update you with my dinner. So I made a tofu spice bag. So it didn't actually go like perfectly. The tofu was really soft. I was trying to get it crispy for ages. Um, I baked it and then I fried it and then I deep fried it. And then I think I fried it again afterwards and then I baked it again and it was still soft. So like, there's probably a million and one things that I did wrong, so I'm not gonna focus on it. So I didn't really like the texture of it that much, but the taste was still really nice because I just put the spice bag seasoning in with that and the chips, and um, it was really, really lovely. Then I had the cinnamon swirl and a cup of tea, and that was lovely. And then I had some salted crisps that I was going to put with salsa, but I actually liked them by them, like, themselves um and then i think i had a tiny bit of my burnaville chocolate and then i had a slice of bread with peanut butter and jam and now i'm in bed with my cup of tea i had two bourbon cream biscuits that are accidentally vegan and i'm about to go to bed in a little bit i'm sorry i forgot to record everything that is as I was eating it, but I ate it and I enjoyed it and day two being vegan is going really well and I'm living for it. So morning three being vegan. Um, this morning I couldn't decide what to have and also I don't have a lot of time. I have like a nine o'clock um, class. So um, <clears throat> I had two different things of toast. I had one wet corn chicken slices, the vegan ones. And um, then I had peanut butter and jam, um, another thing of toast. So um, I'm also going to try and get some vegan sausages on the way to college if I can, because I'm really craving them. Um, if not, I think I might actually be a little bit early. So I might go to one of the cafes and get a vegan sausage roll, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. And I also had a cup of tea because I like, need something to keep you on. So uh, yeah. Okay, so I completely forgot to um, fill my lunch, but I went to um, a local place to eat. We do this every Wednesday in college. Um, so I got, what was it called? A Thai chicken satay with tofu instead of chicken and some rice and some veggies. Um, it's really, really nice. I get it a lot. I'm gonna do this because it's really awkward to hold the camera out the way it was. Chicken satay, but with tofu instead of satay. And I got, oh, I got these actually. Um, On my lunch. So they're quinoa, quinoa, I don't know. Corn puffs, white cheddar flavored. I love cheese puffs so much. I would like eat a bag of cheese puffs and not think anything of it. Um, But yeah, they, they're white cheddar, so they're not as cheesy as cheese puffs, but also cheese puffs are really artificial and bad for you. So it's kind of better that they're not like cheese puffs. Um, I had those and then I had a little more Bernabil when I got home. And then on my way to college, um, cause I was really hungry and I wouldn't get a break for a while, I got vegan sausage rolls in Centra and they're so good. 
I don't know what they put in them, but they're really good. And if they sold them, I would buy so many of them. I'd put on so much weight. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner because I'm going out to my mum's. So I have to see what the stitch is. Um, but yeah, having fun, living life. Um, I literally just got out of bed. So my hair is like weird and all that. Um, so <laughs> I'm in my mum's. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I'm in my mum's and for last night, last night's dinner, I had a teriyaki and sesame seed sauce with rice and um, the tofu that I had on Monday. So the cauldron tofu that's marinated, it is so nice, I'm obsessed. Um, and then I had some more Bournemouth with my family and like a cup of tea and things like that. Normally they have bourbon creams but they didn't today. Um, makes me really sad. So I'm here for the morning and then I'm going into work in town and um, so I'm going to be in the city centre with loads of vegan options around me so I'm going to be able to get vegan mince pies because that's all I really want. Um, so really excited for that. I don't know what I'm having for breakfast yet. I'll find something. My family also um, are trying to go vegan or at least somewhat vegan and um, so it should make things a little bit easier for me to try and scavenge some food here because uh, I just didn't plan it out. I should just be able to have beans and toast but I really don't want beans and toast so I don't know what I'm gonna have. So I was getting really sad and I was just about to film myself being sad because I couldn't find anything to eat and I was gonna end up having to have flora on toast and then I checked it's opened upside down Cookie crisp, and I think it's vegan. Because <laughs> it says, um, it doesn't say milk in, or eggs in the ingredient, and then it says may also contain milk, peanuts, and other nuts. So presumably, that means that there is no milk supposed to be in it, and it's the situation that milk is in the same factory. So if you're like extremely highly allergic, you can't eat it. But it doesn't look like there's any like animal products put into the ingredients. I, don't, I think I can eat these. Which if I can eat these, then, then why is there a debate over people being vegan? Cause like, what more do you need than a bit of cookie crisp, realistically? Absolutely delighted with this very nutritious, out of focus breakfast. Delighted. I'm just out of the shower. Uh, my hair. Um, I literally just have not had a minute all day. I we like went into work and was so busy. Um, like absolutely insanely busy stuff. Um, because we were doing a Christmas market. So no filming of any food happened, but I ate, um, I got a coffee, uh, oat milk coffee, um, oat milk latte, and then I got sausage rolls in Sandra because I needed something really quick. And then I was in the Christmas market and some places just didn't have vegan options. So I tried to get a vegan um, German sausage thing and they were all sold out of like all of their food even their pretzels and everything which apparently i think he said that they were vegan but he was like you can't have one anyway because they're all sold out so i couldn't have that and then i really wanted to try the churros and they were vegan i just had to make sure that they didn't put any like chocolate sauce on them or anything and then in work i had like some tofu dumplings um i don't feel like that's enough i feel like i should be eating more because I definitely used up a lot of energy in work today, but I'm just really tired. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea and go to bed. But what I did get, so what we're kind of doing with like all the people at the market is um, you give other people, other food stalls, free food and in exchange, they give you free food back. And there was like a cupcake one and they were like, oh, you help us out, we'll help you out. So. We were like, yeah, what do you want? And then he dropped in dumplings, or he dropped in cupcakes, and they were vegan, so I couldn't eat them. But what I did get, oh, look, a little makeshift sun. 
vegan mince pies. I went into M&S because someone told me that they had them in M&S and, um, and they didn't. They had like wheat free ones, they didn't have vegan ones and so it was really sad and then I went to the health food shop and I got these. So good. I'm savoring them so much and I need to get more tomorrow. Um, yeah, absolutely just like delighted with life. Had a really good day. So, um, my hair is so weird. So day six of being vegan. Um, obviously I didn't really speak yesterday. So I had, what did I have for breakfast? A chicken, corn chicken sandwich. And then I had a vegan sauce grill from Centra. And then I went into Dublin and I had like dumplings from work. I was at the Christmas market again. So I had dumplings from work. I had vegan churros. I had vegan German sausage. Oh my God. It was like curry worts or something. So I had like curry sauce and excuse me, spicy ketchup. And it was so nice. I was like obsessed. Um, and we had pretzels and it was great. I was living life. There was like enough vegan options to keep me going. And today I'm having porridge with raspberries and granola. Forget to speak. Um, I'm gonna be sad when this is all over because I don't know if I'll have an incentive to keep it up and I'm really enjoying it and I feel great. Um, but I'm also really tired so bye. Yeah, so that was my vegan week. Um, I'm, it's a few days after I finished it, I can't remember. And I did have like a day off on Monday where I had like the vegan pizza that turned out not to be vegan that I bought during the week and I really wanted to eat. Spinach based pizzas are actually really nice. Um, so I actually really enjoyed it and I felt really good in myself. I think it was a weird week to try it because I was doing the winter festival and that just really tired me out and I have a lot of assignments due and it's just pro might not have been the best time for me to try a new diet to see like exactly how I would feel on it. For the first few days I felt really great and then I did do the whole Winterfest thing and then I felt really really tired the whole time and yeah so I'm still kind of recovering from that. I'm still trying to get loads of assignments done so I'm really stressed out. It's coming up to Christmas. I have to like budget everything so I can buy presents for everyone. So it's actually quite a stressful time so I feel like it's kind of hard to definitively go in depth about how I felt. But I am keeping it up. Yeah, I like I'm keeping it up this week. I'm really enjoying it. I have found like loads of new foods that I really enjoy. Um I've gotten like into making my own foods more and like making my cinnamon swirls, which I'm obsessed with. And I just feel better myself because I feel like I'm snacking a lot less. I think that's a big thing. So a big thing for me why I didn't go vegan before, even though I was with Sharon, I couldn't stop myself from snacking away so the fact that like I was committed to it and didn't snack as much I felt so much better on myself I think says a lot and oh yeah just I wish I could say about my skin how my skin is doing because I've heard that your skin gets really good when you go vegan and I have a breakout here and I think that that's just stress related because as I said assignments Christmas all that good stuff is all coming up now so I think that's primarily what my breakout is, but I don't know if I can say that for certain. Uh, I have a feeling that it's not veganism that's making me break out, because that doesn't make sense based on everything that I've heard. But 
yeah, I found it really fun. I really enjoyed it and didn't find it as difficult as I thought. And even going back to like having mashed potatoes, I there's something weird about it. Do you know what I mean? There's something that like I'm not vibing with completely. I think that just opened a bit of a new world to me and I really enjoyed it. And it was a chance to really switch up my diet in a way that I ended up really enjoying because diet changes can be like quite tricky. You might, um, it might feel really restrictive to maybe go vegan or vegetarian or gluten free or palm oil free or whatever. Uh, but I think if you do it right, it does introduce you to a whole new food palette and you can end up really enjoying that. So yeah, that's my vegan week. I hope you enjoyed it and I really encourage everyone to at some point in their life do a vegetarian week, a vegan week, whatever tickles your fancy. Uh, it is an experience and you could end up being more conscious of your diet and what you're putting into your body and I might leave some links down below of really good um, like vegan influencers to follow because I find that that really really helps if you don't get sucked into the whole like oh you have to be vegan and churn fake blood at you thing if you like get into good veganism uh, it can really encourage you to enjoy it and find new recipes and have a really good outlook on it which I would encourage everyone to have about their diet it's really important to love your diet and enjoy your diet and do for you so yeah thank you so much for watching